Good day to all of you, my dear brothers and sisters in Christ. Once again, it is uh, good to be with you to continue to talk about the life and mission of Live Christ, Share Christ. As you do know, we, we, we face a dire situation uh, in the world and even in our church today. There is unprecedented darkness in the world. There is great uh, evil. And unfortunately, bad things have also come into our church, even among our ordained brethren. These are very, very challenging times. And in fact, I've had occasion to speak about the end times. When I look at the signs of the end times that Jesus described, seems to be that we are in those times. Though I also hasten to add that, well, it doesn't mean to say that Jesus is returning anytime soon. It could actually be another millennium. But whether short or a thousand years long, I believe that we are already in those uh, end times. So what is important is, okay, what, what do we do? How do we react? Uh, how do we... Uh, uh, do our share in the life and mission of our church. We see today the unprecedented assaults on faith, family, and life. And the world out there, under the dominion of the evil one, is trying to destroy faith, family, and life. It's trying to destroy the church, especially our church, because it's the one true authentic church the only one established by Jesus himself. But unfortunately, we see in our church today, there is apostasy. People have turned away from the faith, have turned uh, to the world and to the evil that is there in the world. And then for many, there's a lot of confusion. What is the authentic faith? What, is, what are the authentic teachings of our church? And, and you might have uh, priests, religious, or even prelates that what have uh, contradictory and opposing views on certain issues that are facing us in the world today. The enemy is within. And, and this is very, very uh, water, worrisome for us. So we as lay people, you know, we don't just sit back or, or stand aside and watch what is happening or even be concerned uh, about that. We don't, we don't just do that. We need to do something ourselves. We need, uh, for, for those who are already engaged in, in the church, we need to, to do more. We, we cannot be uh, complacent. We cannot just relax and, and take things as they are and, and not think that it will not be affecting us and, and our uh, loved ones. We need to see how this work is truly uh, urgent and the work that God has given us basically the whole aspect of evangelization family renewal uh, and including work with the poor this work is our privilege but also our responsibility in, in a very real way God is counting on all of his people and that includes us God is counting on us to do what we can, to, to take our place in the life and mission of our church. It, we, we, we don't have the uh, luxury of just thinking of our own family or our own community. You know, because you and I, we might be secure. Uh, okay, we, we know Christ. We are trying to raise our children in the right way. Uh, we are, are striving to have a Christian family environment, and on, then of course our community. Well, we, we believe that our community is truly in Christ. We are in fact of Christ. Uh, but, but we cannot just uh, uh, be, be content with that. Because if, if evil spreads, then everyone is under threat. Our loved ones whom we care for very well within our homes, when they're out there, with their peers in schools uh, and even with the with the internet they can be they will be uh, under threat 
So with everything that is uh, happening, with many falling into apostasy, with 99 of the 100 sheep uh, lost, uh, it, it is right to ask, as uh, Jesus himself did in Luke 18 verse 8, he said, no, when the Son of Man returns, will he find faith on earth? And this is a question that we need to, to confront. We don't just say that, well, one, one third of the world is Christian and half of those are Catholics and we ourselves are secure uh, in, in knowing what the Christian life is, is all about. We're living out our uh, Catholic faith. But there is a real threat. And in the end, how big will the church be? Will it just be a little flock? Will many have been lost uh, to the darkness and not make it to their eternal home in heaven? So this should be of critical concern to us. And so we need to do our share. We need to try our best. And that is why uh, the Lord has given us the Live Christ, Share Christ mission. Now, there are some who say, well, uh, don't worry about all of these things. No, yes, there is darkness in the world. Yes, there is evil. Yes, uh, even the enemy has come within the, the, the church. But don't worry about the church, uh, the, this, 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 because uh, Jesus himself assures us in Matthew 16, verse 18, that the gates of hell will not prevail against the church. Well, <laughs> Uh, if, if you just see it uh, that way, then that is not a full interpretation you know, uh, because uh, it is not certainly we are assured that in the end, Christ and his church are victorious. We are assured of that. But again, the question is how big will the flock be at that time? But this thing about Matthew 16 verse 18, the gates of the netherworld will not prevail against uh, the church. The wrong interpretation is that Okay, we can be assaulted by the enemy no matter how, how uh, terrible and strong that assault is, but the church will uh, survive. It is not about defense, but it is about offense. It talks about the gates of hell, the gates of the netherworld. Gates are not for offense, they are for defense. Gates and walls are there to defend against the enemy that is attacking. So when Jesus says the gates of the narrow world will not prevail against the church, it is not talking so much about the enemy attacking the church. Of course, that's also true. But the church assaulting the gates of the enemy and the enemy will not prevail. That's the assurance. But the problem is many in the church have lost uh, the missionary dimension. And our church engaged in so many different things, many good things to be sure, might have lost that distinctive uh, missionary zeal and, and, and thrust. So, brothers and sisters, Live Christ, Share Christ is about reviving that missionary character of our church. And it is going back to basics. Well, what are those? Well, I, I do want to say that... Uh, I've, I've looked around and seen what is happening in parishes throughout the world uh, in the last decade or so. And there seems to be nothing quite like Live Christ, Share Christ in the church today. Oh. Why? Well, what are the different dimensions that make me say that? First of all, Live Christ, Share Christ provides a vision according to the new evangelization. Again, it's not just a case of new programs. You can always have new programs. It's easy to come up with a new program. But a new vision as to how to handle that old evangelization. Evangelization is 2,000 years old. It basically does not change. It is still about the proclamation of the gospel of salvation in Jesus. But a new vision for that. Um, appreciating it within the context of what is happening in the world uh, today. Secondly, with LCSC, the church is provided 
practical methodologies that can result in very massive evangelization, especially of the lapsed Catholics. And these method methodologies allow the larger parishes to go into the grassroots at the peripheries. You know, because it's important, the how-to, the specific programs, the actual steps, one, two, three. It's not just the vision. The vision is important. But then, okay, someone grasps the vision. What do I do now? So the practical methodologies are provided by uh, Live Christ, Share Christ. Thirdly, it's important to know that Live Christ, Share Christ will not, does not compete with parish ministries, ministries or Catholic organizations. Rather, what Live Christ, Share Christ is able to do, imparting the one vision and focusing on that one critical work of evangelization without letting go of all the other good things that are done uh, by parishes and different Catholic organizations. So, Live Christ, Share Christ is able to uh, integrate into one effort with many, with many aspects, uh, to be sure, but one particular concerted effort at this new e evangelization. You know, there is no competition. The, the different parishes and the different parish ministries and the other Catholic organizations that hopefully can work with us in Live Christ, Share Christ, uh, they can continue to do their own thing. They should continue to do that because that's what God had called them to do. But that we are able to bring everyone and everything together to have that common uh, vision in moving moving uh, forward you know? and even when we talk about the basic ecclesial communities the small christian communities uh, live christ share christ meshes integrates uh, synergizes very well with all of this you know? uh, we are able to provide uh, a lot of inputs including formation programs that can help to re revitalize and strengthen the work of basic ecclesial uh, communities. A fourth thing with LCSC is that it empowers the laity in an extensive way. Again, there is a call to lay empowerment and that sleeping giant needs to be awakened. But you awaken the sleeping giant and then you need to provide uh, a clear way forward and uh, what are the uh, uh, methodologies, the programs that it can really uh, work with. You know? And then to, to be able to tap uh, on the lady extensively. Come one, come all. There are more workers that are needed for the harvest. And those that are rich, uh, at some point, they start to, to, to live Christ and they themselves will share Christ. They participate in the work of the, of the church. And so, uh, LCSC is able to, to generate uh, the type of uh, way of thinking and way of moving forward for uh, Catholics, especially the lay uh, persons. No? What else? Well, we also engage in the social and, of course, the spiritual dimensions of the gospel. So it's not one or the other. In some places in the church today, it's one or the other. There are those who are into social justice issues, but they might neglect the issues of morality and the righteousness of God. Now, there are others who talk about, uh, well, the being, being a good person, but not really being concerned with the least of our brethren. Both are important, and both reinforce each other. But even the work of social justice is founded, is premised on spiritual uh, renewal and spiritual growth. If you are living Christ, then part of your sharing Christ will be sharing with the least of your brethren. You know? So uh, both dimensions are very, very important and LCSC can show us uh, the way. You know? And then finally, maybe a sixth thing is that with LCSC, we can go forth in the spirit of Pentecost. You know? And this is very, very crucial. Because, yes, we are told in Acts 1 verse 8, you will receive power when the Holy Spirit comes upon you and you will be my witnesses in Jerusalem, throughout Judea and Samaria, and to the ends of the earth. The power, the empowerment comes from the Holy Spirit 
And it's the Holy Spirit that enables us to be witnesses, both silent by our holiness of life and our ver verbal uh, witness, the proclamation of the gospel. And this work can be carried to the very ends of the earth. So, brothers and sisters, Live Christ, Share Christ is about rapid, massive, and worldwide uh, evangelization. And we, we've already always been talking about rapid, massive, and worldwide evangelization from the very early years in our life as a community. We, we've been talking about that, and that is, has been our thrust. But with Live Christ, Share Christ, there ought to be a radical paradigm shift with regard to the numbers. And, and, and now we are really, really talking about rapid, massive, worldwide uh, work. Way beyond what we have been doing or, or, or seeing uh, up, up, up to this, this time. Well, first of all, who are our targets? All Catholics, one billion lapsed Catholics that are in the world today, throughout the world. That is, uh, they are the, the, the target of Live Christ, Share Christ. If, if only uh, parishes would take on this work, and if only the parish uh, workers would become workers as well uh, in the Live Christ, Share Christ mission, then imagine how many can be reached. Because we, we just provide the vision, we provide the, the how-to, the methodologies, the working programs. But the, the uh, territorial presence is there throughout the world already, and the parish workers are already there in place. We have the potential to reach so many more. Why is this important? Because the, the heart of Jesus for souls is still there. It, it, it has not changed. When Jesus was starting his public ministry, uh, we read what he said in Matthew 9, verses 35 to 38, where he says there that he went to all of, of the towns and villages, and he did basically three things. He taught in the synagogues, he proclaimed the gospel of the kingdom, and he cured every disease and illness. And, and uh, it says uh, there that uh, at the sight of the crowds, his heart was moved with pity because the sheep were... Uh, they seem troubled and abandoned, like sheep without a shepherd. And Jesus says the harvest is abundant, but the, the laborers are few. So ask the master of the harvest to send more laborers for, for the harvest. So the heart of Jesus is still there, looking especially today at so many sheep that are lost, that are troubled, that seeming seems to be abandoned at times even by, by uh, uh, their, their ordained uh, uh, shepherds. Oh. And, and God does not want anyone to be lost. Oh. He searched for the one out of the 100, those she, uh, one lost sheep out of the 100. How much more if the lost sheep are the 99? So the problem is just a lack of uh, laborers. But they are there in the parishes. And so we in MFC, we, we do this work ourselves. We are the backbone. We, we are the ones pushing this work. But if only we can get the parishes and even other Catholic organizations engaged in this work, then there is so much that, uh, that can, 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 be, can be done. You know? We in uh, Live Christ, Share Christ, we provide the how-to, again, the, the programs, the uh, methodologies. And if only there are more workers who would share that vision with us, then certainly God will make use of them all and God will provide uh, the fruit that we all desire. So, what is the aim of the Live Christ, Share Christ mission? We want to mainstream Catholic lay evangelization. This is all about the work of evangelization. This is all about uh, engaging the laity, the empowerment. This certainly focuses on the uh, lapsed Catholics, the nominal Catholics, uh, the lost sheep, uh, those who might even be described as, as uh, baptized pagans. And this is talking about mainstreaming. You know, 
It's not just one of the many things that the church does, but it's the main thing that the church does. You know? It's not just uh, one of the uh, many different works, but it is that one work that ties in everything else that uh, the church uh, does. So, Live Car Circus, uh, we categorize it as being uh, of the church, by the church, and for uh, the church. Well, why why we're speaking about church? Why don't we just focus on on what we as part of the church do as MFC? Why the whole church? Well, because that's what the Spirit wills. That's the, the very reason why Jesus established his church to carry on his work. And then today, with greater darkness in the world, with the call to the new evangelization, so there is a call for the church to do even greater work and to engage many more of the church members in this work. So how will this greater work be done? Well, again, you know, we bring it to a parish and to many more parishes, and then even a parish that has grasped the vision is starting to effectively do live Christ share Christ. They themselves can help bring it to other parishes. Because now they have the perfect witness. Okay, we're a parish. We have all of these things that are going on. But we have found that there is something more that can be done that we need to do. And so we've tried it. This works well. And so you, you can do it as well. We, we can help you do that. You know? And then parish to parish within a country. But also in the different countries. To all the countries in the world. And the countries where all of these are already happening. Where where uh, MFC is already hard at work. No, we want to bring it to other countries as well. Even those countries where MFC might not be present. So Live Christ, Share Christ can, can work. Even uh, as long as there are workers and as long as we in MFC are trying to engage there. But even if uh, MFC itself as a community is not yet established in that particular country. So the work will be done under the banner of the Live Christ Share Christ Mission, which is a work of uh, the Church of the Holy Spirit during these uh, times. And when we look at the, the work that can be uh, done, uh, many of, of uh, what can happen under the banner of the Live Christ Share Christ Mission can really be attractive for the many different uh, people, both clerics and laity, uh, in the parish, uh, for example, we we the, the world looks at poverty, and and there is a great deal of poverty in the world, and and unfortunately it seems that it's not being resolved. Uh, but the church already resolved uh, poverty, and we see in the life of the early church uh, after the day of Pentecost, so they came together as as church. And they held everything in common. They were stewards of what they owned. And they shared whatever they had so that there was no one in need. You know? The important thing when we talk of work with the poor is not that the poor will become rich. They might, they might uh, not be helped. <laughs> well, when that happens, they might get into greater trouble. But that the poor are provided with the basic necessities of life so that they will live a life in the dignity of being a child of, of, of God. So the way to that is not the, the way of the secular world. Try as hard as they, they, they want to. But it has already been discovered by the first Christian community. Now imagine, in every parish there are rich, there are poor. And of course the parish, they, they are within a certain territorial environment. They would see each other when they go to church. Uh, and maybe in the regular day-to-day -day course of their uh, lives, in their uh, private uh, 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 works, livelihood, businesses, they might interact with, each, with one another. What if, by means of the uh, work that Libka Sherkas is able to do, that there is indeed renewal uh, with the rich and with the poor, so that the rich would now share with the poor, and they're all there partaking 
uh, participating in the Eucharist in that one uh, church, in that parish, and they, they are seeing one another in the uh, secular uh, environments of the world around them, and they can really be brothers and sisters to one another. This is something that can really work. This is something that already happened in the life of the first uh, Christian community. And, and with Live Christ, Share Christ, it can be a practical reality in parishes today. What else? Well, well health is a, an important aspect for many people uh, today. And uh, Live Christ, Share Christ, uh, through our Live Full uh, pillar, would, would be engaged in certain things, for example, as medical missions. We've already been doing this medical mission where doctors, nurses, and other medical practitioners, dentists from, uh, for example, the United States would go to the Philippines and do a three or four day medical mission, reaching many, many different people. Uh, and and the, now th there are many uh, organizations throughout the world that actually do that kind of work. But you know what would be wonderful with Live Christ, Share Christ? It's because we not only organize the uh, medical mission team, uh, who would, uh, a number of members would be there, but including non-members, but we also organize the local uh, poor community. And in that program, it's not just medical mission, it's not just work with the poor, but uh, we are some way able to bring in uh, the spiritual dimension and when the medical mission team finally does its work and, and leaves we can continue uh -huh. so there is continuity and and uh, we 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 now bring in the rest of the different programs that uh, we have so that there will be a fuller development of the christian community that is there uh -huh. so th this work can expand very much because we can try to reach the the medical institutions, the, the hospitals in the different countries, especially the developed countries because they have the resources and many of them can form medical missions and then we can send them uh, to, to, the, to the first world and to uh, many places throughout the world in, in, in Africa, in India, in Oceania, in parts of Asia uh, and wherever else where there are poor uh, communities and this work can be done. It can be done massively. But there has to be that basic vision, that basic mindset, that basic coming together as uh, the, the, the people of God in the Live Christ, Share Christ mission. Now, what else? Well, uh, when you talk of uh, the poor, uh, you need to look at the economic dimensions, uh, of course. You know? And part of that is commerce. How can there be economic activity that can really help the poor? Now, what can happen with the Live Christ, Share Christ Mission? If the Live Christ, Share Christ Mission is already widespread in many different parishes, in many different countries, then what we would also do, again, through our Live Full uh, pillar uh, in helping build uh, Christian communities, we would also be working at cooperatives. There could be cooperatives that uh, can, can focus on production, can focus on marketing, uh, can focus on many different aspects of uh, commerce uh, in, in a particular province or, or, or state or, or territory. Uh, they, they would have uh, uh, aspects of uh, commerce that can be the specialty of that place and they can focus on that. But what if we had this Live Christ, Share Christ mission uh, in many different countries and we could bring together the, the producers and the consumers? And, you know, a bonus would be would can even cut, cut off many of the middlemen who are making most of the money. So the, the, the farmers and the producers can earn more, the consumers will pay less, and this can happen as a natural aspect of the renewal of the Christian community. You know, uh, right there, people uh, engaging with one another and people with resources, helping those uh, without. 
with, with, with money, with know-how, with the technology, you know, with access. Well, you can, you can see where many of these things can go. You know, the, the spiritual, the social, all coming together into a more complete work in Christ. And then when we talk of uh, the church, again, we look at the potential partners that we can have. Because uh, Live Christ, Share Christ is not just for us as MFC. God gave it to us so that we can uh, run with it and so that we can also try to engage uh, many others, other partners. We can look at the religious congregations. And, and many of these religious congregations are obviously not just into spirituality, but also a social dimension of the world. If you have a, a nun uh, in a remote community helping hundreds of people and she's all alone, well, what if LCSC came in and helped bring people to renewal and equip them and fill them with the love of Christ? And now suddenly that one nun can have workers that she can rely on. And at the same time, that nun can also directly participate in the work of LCSC, giving its teachings and promoting it. So there's a lot of that interaction that can, that can happen. Parish organizations, especially the traditional Catholic organizations. And unfortunately, many of them have become just service organizations or maintenance organizations or fellowship organizations but everything in the church needs to get back to to basics and so when we tell them about evangelization we help form the vision for evangelization then they too can embrace uh, live Christ share Christ and take it as their own here it is. This is really for you. You, as a church organization, aside from what you are already doing now, you go and run with it. And, and you know, church organizations like uh, 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 Mother Butler Guild or uh, Legion of Mary uh, or Knights of Columbus, uh, they, are, they are practically in, in all the parishes throughout the world. So can you imagine if they can be engaged in this, if they can see the vision, if they can be given that desire, if they embrace it, then they can run with it in all of the places where they are beyond what we as a community are present in. So there is that potential that is, that is uh, there. And then, of course, we're not just talking about, about uh, church groups or organizations. We're talking about secular foundations. Those that pro profess to want to work for the good of, of, of people throughout the world, then it is something good that you can do. And we're not just telling you, you're a secular organization engaged in a spiritual work. But there's a lot of this work that would be uh, about the social as well. You know? And we can put it together. We can be partners in this. We can be partners with governments and local government uh, units where they, of course, would be concerned about the well-being of the citizenry and this is what uh, we can do especially through our work with the poor and we ourselves as a community and we encourage others uh, we go uh, beyond beyond the, the confines of the church uh, we go to the places where we live we live in subdivisions or uh, local communities we go and reach out to them we have our own uh, social groups. We belong to civic groups you know, and we belong to uh, the Filipinos, belong to associations in different countries and the Indians have their own associations and uh, the Vietnamese and the Nigerians and so in your own uh, civic groups, in your own associations where you are, you can uh, help bring this work of, of renewal. No, beyond just the, the social work that you do, all the, the nice things that we come together to do as we fellowship, uh, there can be this spiritual work. You know? and, and so there is so much that can be done uh, with so many different partners. So brothers and sisters, what is the way forward for us in the Live Christ, Share Christ mission? Well, first of all, we need to appreciate 
what this is. We need to understand. We need to appreciate. Because unless you appreciate it, then you will not take it on. You will not embrace it. How do you appreciate it? Well, first, uh, study the materials that we have. I've actually written three books. No? Uh, the Live Christ, Share Christ Mission, The New Evangelization, A Work of the Divine Family, and uh, What is New About the New Evangelization. So, read those books. No? There, there is a lot of information that is there. Take it on. Understand it. Let it permeate your very being. And then out of that, let the Spirit uh, touch you, your mind, your, your heart, your whole being, so that you not just accept. It's, it's not hard for, for people like you and I to accept that it is a good thing, but not just to accept, but to embrace. Embrace the Live Christ, Share Christ mission. And for you, by the grace of God, to continue to expand your vision. And then, you need to know the alternatives in proceeding to, to carry about this, this work. No? Uh, one, you can go parish or you can go publics. Now, when we talk of publics, that means anything that is not parish. No? So it means uh, uh, schools, hospitals, uh, barangays, uh, military camps, uh, prisons, and all the other. All the other environments out there that are not uh, parish. So, Live Christ, Share Christ is for all. It is to reach all. You know? uh, it is to reach uh, everyone uh, within a country and certainly throughout the world. And then you need to know that the different programs that we have can all be entry points. Now, the... Uh, most basic renewal program is the Life in Christ Seminar. But you don't have to lead off, off with the Life in Christ Seminar. Uh, you, you, can, you can discern what is the need, what is the want of your parish. You know, uh, some, some pastors might say, uh, oh, we, we already have a lot of uh, evangelization. But then you see that perhaps uh, Bible is uh, something where that is, that is lacking. And so we can lead off and we can offer live the word, the liturgical Bible study, and convince uh, the pastor that this is a way to get every Catholic into uh, the, the Bible. And, and of course, once that is established, and I'm sure it will uh, find a resonant chord in the parishioners, then we can offer the other programs as well, including the Life in uh, Christ Seminar. Or uh, people are concerned about youth. When we go to a school, for example, uh, there, there's a lot of uh, immorality that there is among our youth today. And so we offer Live Pure. Uh, and, and when Live Pure happens, people are touched. Then people are, are touched. And when that happens, then we can, we can uh, offer not just the follow-through on the Live Pure program, but on many of the different pillars that, that we have as, as well. Uh, so any of this... Uh, programs are entry points. You have the Life in Christ Seminar, you have uh, Live the Word, the Liturgical Bible Study, you have Live Pure, you have uh, Live Life, you have uh, uh, Live Full through the No One uh, in Need movement, uh, you have the formation program. At times, parishes are so busy, but they, they recognize that they lack formation. And so we can lead off with that. Here is the self-modules. Uh, we can help uh, train your, your, your leaders. And once we're there, once they appreciate uh, a part of the goodness that is in Live Christ, Share Christ, then it opens up the door uh, to bring uh, everything else. You know? uh, what else? Well, when we go to the parishes, it is important to try to get the pastor and the lay leaders to embrace uh, the program. Actually, it's not enough for the pastor to say, hey, that's a nice program, go ahead, I authorize you. You can conduct your program. I mean, if that's what uh, just happens, then of course, we take that, that is a blessing. But uh, for this program, as if we have been describing it, the Live Christ, Share Christ Mission, uh, to be really uh, ingrained uh, and integrated and be made part of the very life, mission, and structure of the parish, it needs to be embraced. The pastor 
the parish leaders need to see the vision. They need to hopefully undergo the programs themselves so that they can fully appreciate it. You know, uh, and, and they uh, are the ones to actually uh, move it, move it forward you know, uh, for all parishioners in the parish and also beyond the parishes. What we want them to see is that LCSC is their program. It is of, by, and for the church. It is not just, okay, here we are, a, a, an outside community that wants to serve you. We're offering you this program. It's not just that. This is it. We are offering this to you. But it is your program. It will be your program. You run with it. And you can do a lot with it. And we will remain with you. We will continue to guide you as long as it's needed. But you go and do this program that the Holy Spirit has given to the church uh, for the work of the new evangelization. Now finally, I just want to touch on another thing. Uh, how do we uh, finance all of this? Well, of course, we in community are willing to to spend for whatever is the authentic work of God, especially live Christ, share Christ that has been given to us uh, to be given to the rest of the church. But we need to also make the parishes understand and the different church organizations that this needs financial uh, support. And that financial support will generally come uh, from the parishes. Uh, it might not be monetary at first. For example, if we do a Life in Christ seminar and we ask the parish, well, can you provide a little bit of uh, the food? You know? And we provide everything else. So they're already participating in that way. But once they go and also do it much more on their own, they do it more expansively, then uh, money would be uh, needed. So again, we need to make them understand that uh, this is your program. So it is also your privilege uh, to finance it as is needed. Well, we, we have what, uh, some fundraising aspects. We have what we call the uh, Gideon 300, where for a small amount, which as it is now is uh, 20 US dollars a month, uh, you can be a supporter uh, for the work of Live Christ, Share Christ. So there are many, especially the parishioners, they might not be directly involved in giving the programs but they can let their pocketbook do their mission for them by giving a small amount. So we encourage that also. We speak about that. So there you go, brothers and sisters. There are the many different aspects and the way that we can move forward uh, with the Live Christ, Fear Christ uh, mission. Uh, oh, by the way, we also have a, an LCSC Google group. So if you submit your... Uh, uh, email address uh, to us then we send you uh, every now and then uh, some inputs including what is happening in the worldwide work of LCSC you know uh, once LCSC is established in your parish there might not be all that much happening but for a movement to continue to move in the power of the Holy Spirit there needs to be movement the movement moves with movement so people need to see, ah, this is what is happening. It's not necessarily in my parish, but it is happening throughout the world. Oh, look at the numbers that they had in this country. Oh, look at the, the, how they are helping uh, the, 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 the poor. No? Oh, look at the different environments. Hey, that gives me an idea of what can happen. So we would send you regularly uh, pictures and uh, uh, articles just as a way of keeping you well informed in the life and mission of the Live Christ, Share Christ. Just know that you are part of a worldwide movement. It is a movement of the Holy Spirit in response to the call to the new evangelization. Let us continue to be a part of it. We know the way forward. Let us uh, go ahead and act on what the Lord has given us. Thank you, all of you. God bless you and more spirit power to all of you.